Okay, three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I am here. We are here. Oh, we out here. And I have a special guest. I don't know if you can actually tell who it is by his voice because at the moment, I just have that camera oh, on okay. right now. It's yeah. not on me yet. It's not on you yet. But I am proud to then. say, I am proud, proud, proud. I'm proud for two reasons right now. All right. One, I finally came out. I finally came. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, dude? Come again? <laughs> I finally made up a name for this podcast. Oh, okay. This is a big deal. Yeah. A lot of people might know already because okay. I've already put on Instagram. Okay. Follow me on Instagram. And I have a super special guest that has a place in my heart. A place in my heart. A place that is just undescribable. I've known you for years. Yeah. The fact that you hit me up. Yeah. And you told me, hey, man, like, let's do it. Yeah. Man, my heart was just Beating, bro. Beating, yes. beating, 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 beating. Get me on that podcast immediately. Immediately. He doesn't even know. He didn't even know. He was the second guest on my podcast. This is a big deal. Yeah, man. It's a big deal for me. I'm glad that you're just a part of it because you've been a part of my life for such a long time. And you know what frustrates me? That don't people don't know that. Oh, that's true. And that we don't kick yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. We're not like associated. Like people don't even think of us as a dynamic duo that we are. We're literally a dynamic duo, and people don't know that. But you know what? Let's put a face to this sexy voice. Okay. Coming in hot. Hot, baby. A SoCal bad boy. <laughs> I mean, a hair inspiration god. <laughs> Thanks to you, bro. Thanks to you. A body of a goddess. Goddess? Wait. Isn't, isn't that the girl? Girl. <laughs> It's because it's that song from T-Pain, dog. Yes, yeah, it's got the body, body of, of a god. Exactly. exactly. You know what I mean, though, right? Exactly it's a compliment, G. It's a, it's a compliment, bro. Um, the Modern Hercules. <laughs> Did I say SoCal Bad Boy already? I love that, bro. That's going to be my Instagram bio. SoCal Bad Boy. <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, 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 welcome. The Josh Leva. <laughs> Let's go sound effect. <laughs> Josh Leva, Yo. the Josh Leva. Oh my God, I didn't even say it right. Because when you get introduced, yeah, it's Jaleva. Jaleva. Can can you can you please do that to your camera, please, dog? It's your boy Jaleva. You gotta do the you gotta do the crop yeah, yeah. You gotta show me how to do it. Yeah, I got you, it. bro. I got you. You got me. I'm gonna send okay, you a tutorial. Cool. The fact that I saw that live in front of my face, <laughs> I think people would pay for that shit. <laughs> Dude, it's, well, guys, it's Josh Leva. Like, literally, I when, pe when people, know, like, figure out who I am, yeah. and then I tell them that I know Josh Leva, you don't do that. they're like, no fucking way. <laughs> You've never done that I once. I swear, bro. You're like, I'm Sebas, but you know who I know? Yeah. <laughs> like, people are like, oh, nice to meet you, Sebastian. Yeah. I, I'm whoop de wop I'm like, do you know Josh Leva? <laughs> they go, Mr. Boop Boop? <laughs> yeah, Mr. Boop Boop, Galo himself. <laughs> yes, bro, I know him. Bro, they don't even believe that I used to cut your hair. That was a long time ago. Okay, so real quick, how yeah. did I meet you again? Uh, so I found you because you were cutting Alex Wasabi's hair. Yes. And he posted you on Instagram. He posted you on a story. And at the time, I was transitioning to like barbers. I wanted to find somebody dope. And uh, I saw the cut you gave him. And I was like, this is the guy right here. This is my man. That's right. And I slid in your DMs. I said, what's up, baby? It's Mr. Boo Boo. <laughs> He's trying to cut my hair real quick. And, and we I, became boys. And I, I mean, we did we were you living in downtown? I was living in downtown, yes. Okay. Um, so we were neighbors. We were neighbors. You lived at the Watermark, and I lived at 8th and Hope. Neighbors. You had the sickest spot in downtown. at the Watermark. That was unreal. You were the only dude at the Watermark. Watermark yeah. is a is a big high-rise in downtown LA. Yeah. You probably needed like, a lot of money to live there. Flex. I mean, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it was pricey. It was pricey. <laughs> it was pricey. I think, I think uh, well, the coolest thing about living there was uh, Terry Crews lived there. You know Terry oh, Crews from, from White Chicks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did he really yeah, live there? Yeah, he lived there. Yep. You want I, something crazy? Yeah. There was a video that went viral. Just real quick. There's a video that went viral. Um, not viral, but like viral in downtown LA. Okay. Some dude got shot at the watermark. Are you serious? On the elevator. Died. Died. At the watermark. Bro, well, dude, that's that place is something else, man. Because even when I lived there, somebody committed suicide. From the oh, top of the building you, and landed on, like, and right landed by the pool right outside of my uh, balcony. Oh my goodness! And bro. I thought it was fake. I'd never seen a dead body before. Uh, even just thinking about it, bro, I was crazy. Oh my god! Mm, it gives no, me the no, 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 chilly no. willies, yeah, bro. It's crazy, man. Not okay. Shout out, B 
Big shout out Alex Wasabi for, yes, the, the, for plug. the plug. Yeah. Bro. Are you, you, guys, you guys still friends? I'm assuming. I, I, dude, Alex Wasabi is a busy man. I mean, he's big time. He's big time. You want to talk about big time? Yeah. He's big time. Shout out to all the Wasabians as yeah, well. Yeah. He's big time, bro. Big time. You got to get and him on the podcast. He'll do this. I Okay. So like, I'll say like, hey, Josh, you know, Josh, I know Josh. Yeah. Oh, really? What, what the fuck? That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even say I know Alex because they for sure won't believe me. No, no, absolutely not. They go, for stop sure. lying. Stop lying. You know, Josh was enough. Yeah. <laughs> you got to take it a notch up. <laughs> oh, get out of here, bro. Got my exactly. face, bro. You? <laughs> Wasabi? No. <laughs> but um, Alex Wasabi, amazing person. Bro, he's, he's one of the most down to earth people I've ever met. And I'll say this about him. He's so consistent as a bro. human, you know, like he's so humble. What you get is what you see always, always, always how, how he is on YouTube. Yeah. Is how he is in real life, which is uh, somewhat rare, right? Super rare. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. to be on YouTube, to be on a platform where you have to show yourself, record yourself, show personality. And I'm not going to lie, even myself, I have to be, because if you really like meet me, and maybe you're the same way. Yeah. If you really meet me, I'm super chill. Yeah. I'm never like, oh my God. Like, big. Yeah. Big. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I never like um, stand out. I'm always to myself. But on video, sometimes I feel like I am that guy. Right. You, you take it up because, a notch. Because to be honest, to be honest, I want to take it up a notch. Yeah. I want to be this character. Am I being fake? No. No, 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 no. It's, it's, inter just, it's entertaining. It, exactly. Yeah. I'm trying to be the best guy I am. And yes. I'm, like I said, keyword trying. Yeah. But Alex is <laughs> not trying. We He's need to just, model that, bro. He is. He is. Guys, Alex Wasabi yeah. is the definition of a perfect YouTuber. He's our man crush. Alex, you are my man crush. We, we love no. him. <laughs> We're his biggest fans. <laughs> but like I said, huge plug. Yeah. Um, you came into the salon. I was still cutting hair. Yeah. And you know, you hit me up. I searched you on uh, social media. Yeah. Right away. SoCal bad boy. <laughs> I promise you, bro, that's going to be my IG bio. SoCal Bad Boy. Bro, SoCal Bad Boy. I think that, that describes like, me perfectly. I was like, dude, his style, good looking motherfucker. Like the hair, I already knew that I was going to do something dope. Oh, you did work. And bro, you, did you work. never stopped coming. Like, I was consistent. You were consistent like yeah. literally every week. Yeah. yeah. And I love that. One yeah. thing about doing hair, and I've probably said it so many times, you just get to kick it with people you fucking love and yeah. you fuck with so bad. Yeah. Like, because I got to a point. Where I, I, I felt like I was the shit cutting yeah. hair. Oh, that's what I want to say. I want to okay. add that point because I, I I love hair, bro. I've always been about my hair since like growing up. Like I wanted the fade. I wanted everything. You by far, I'm not just saying this because you're standing yeah. in front of me, the best barber I've ever had in my entire life. And I don't know if people know how nice you were with the clippers. Bro, you were on another level. Low key, when I found out that you were kind of taking a step back and you know you were going to yeah. move on to bigger and better, I cried. I cried. Like shed a tear. I shed a tear. Dang. And I still have not found somebody as nice as you. The guy who's cutting my hair right now, he's uh just in case he's wild, he's he's dope. He's fire. He's fire. Uh you just have a special place in my heart, man. Yeah, I feel you. And man. on my head. I just visited one of my friends. Who cuts your hair, by the way? Is this who you're gonna say? Uh I have a barber right here in the valley. Okay. okay. Cause he's hard. Great fucking fade, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, I know how to do hair too. So if, if I need to, I'll go in the bathroom. I'll snip, 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 You'll whatever. You'll fade yourself? No, no I, I won't fade myself. Okay. My back starts to hurt. My neck starts to hurt. Yeah. It's just too many positions going like this yeah, and yeah. whatnot. Yeah. Um, you got to get Karen. My homie will fade me. My, my shout out, um, Alex, my barber. Um, I'll put his Instagram right here. Anybody in the Valley, go get a fade. Get that fresh Even fade. if you want to go get a fade. I'm going to go get days, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super cool guy. Yeah. Young, young cat, you yeah. know, hustling. And I, and I fuck with young that 100%. Sebas. Yeah, young Seba, <laughs> young bull. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, even, even myself, I was I was so sad when your, your life just changes. Yeah. And I just couldn't do what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I love doing hair. When's the last time you cut somebody's hair? Bro. Over two years? Like 2017, maybe. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, bro. You miss it a little? You think you still got it? Is it like riding a bike? Like it's you, like riding a bike, dog. Right. Now, what I might not have anymore is maybe, because I'm not in the hair world anymore. So 
to be the best in hair or anything, you kind of have to be integrated into that world. Absolutely. And you have to see other people do other things. Yeah. And that's going to give you an example of yeah. what do I need to do to mm. be the best? Yeah, what yeah. do I need to do to stand out? Yeah. yeah. Right now, I have no idea. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm not in do. that world no more. But I see what you're saying. I, I see exactly but what I do. Yeah, because yeah. just how you're into doing hair, yeah. I mean, not doing hair, but, but into your own hair, and yeah. you've always been like that. Yeah. That's why I'm a hairdresser. Yeah. yeah. Because I've always been into my hair yeah always bro always well, one thing i admire about you this this whole thing we're just going to compliment each other throughout the whole podcast yeah. but you take chances with your hair that i wish i could do yeah. like you'll you'll dye it you'll do like crazy like i don't know you just you, you tend to be more uh uh aggressive yeah safe. and it's because yes you know what I'm aggressive aggressive my boy. you know what i'm saying a little plug real quick that's some so <laughs> little, bad boy vocabulary you, know you got right there brother <laughs> aggressive you know yeah that, that's Emphasize what, that's on what the it's safe. all about yeah yeah but I'm gonna um, do that. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do something crazy with my hair one day. You know, you know what it is too. It's like some, some bad boy. You are a bad boy. No, but you don't more, gotta do anything more, else. Dude, more. Fuck. I'm gonna do the lines, bro. Lines on your eyebrows. <laughs> I'll, I'll be down. Yeah, you should. I'm gonna try. It. It's gonna grow out anyway. Fuck. That's why true. Not? That's true. And, that, and and that's my mentality. It's gonna grow out anyway. Yeah. You know, especially being guys, like we don't have to worry about having crazy long 100%, hair. It's just like a hundred percent, bro. And yeah. I like to stand out sometimes, not yeah. to be a show off, but yeah, I like to stand out. I don't like to look the same all the time. That's the thing about me. I get so bored. Yeah. Of my own look, <laughs> literally. <laughs> like I gotta switch this. Like up I just gotta me. switch it up. Like it's just me. Like whether it be glasses, yeah. like anything, anything, anything. Have you ever dyed your beard? No, because I'm scared that I'm gonna burn my skin. Oh. But I've I've seen people do it, and it seems like it's okay. Mm. But I don't think oh, I would no, dye no, my no. beard. That's yeah, kind of no. like it's uh, it's a little much. Yeah, it's a little much. Yeah, I don't think yeah. I would do that. Nah, the hair. I think the hair is cool. hundred. What do you got right now? You don't even want to see, dog. It's messy. It's not messy. It's just exactly what you said. I just it's out there. I literally tried something different. Oh, see, see, is it purple? Let me see. It's it's it's, it's, a, it's, it's a nice lavender. Oh, lavender. But check out the cut though. Let me see. Oh my. See, this stuff like looking at your hair. I I want to be like that, bro. Like you just did it. I just fearless. did it. Fearless. Fuck it. I already got a girl. And it's and it's a it's a <laughs> it's a hard line. Yeah, it's like. There's nothing. It's just I'm. I look like I'm a character in Apocalypse. You look though. like yes. That's what you, you look know? like. You look like yes. Exactly. You know? I look like yes. <laughs> yes. Like I can be in Apocalypse the movie. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't care. You know why? Because I am who I am. Mm -hmm. And if I had a fucking penis on my head, you still look. But high. I strut with confidence. Yeah. I'm the shit. Yeah. 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 You're a peen head, bro. And and that goes to everybody out there. Who gives a fuck what you do in life? Who gives mm -hmm. a fuck how you look in life or like in life or whatever? If you're confident as fuck, yeah. you're sexy. Yeah. You're literally sexy. Confidence, the sex appeal that that brings, like it just, it kind of turns you on. Like you, Man, super. you know what I mean? Like it, it could take over a look immediately. It doesn't matter, bro. If you got that in you, immediately. And, and everybody has that. You just got to yeah. like find that. Everybody's into looks, everybody's yeah. into appearance. Everybody's into all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But if that person or you see somebody with confidence, man. Oh, yeah. Takes over like a tidal wave. But then also the opposite of that. You see somebody who's attractive, you know, hot. They got it going on. But then they got a terrible, like, uh, attitude. It blows my mind. You just got deducted. Deducted, deducted. bro. Deducted. You're going to detention. Yeah. Bro. Big time. Big time. Big time. It's it blows a, my mind. How me too. I'm like, how are you so hot and so ugly? At the same time. At the same time. Oh like, you got God. it all. If you were just kind. Bro, I know so many people that are like, you. good looking, have everything going going on in their life, yeah. like positive. Yeah. And you're just talking to them and you're like, you're fucking mental. And it just makes you ugly. It's just like ugly. It just. It, I don't understand how people are like that. I don't know, bro. Mm. It's, it's uh, yeah, they get caught up in the image and they think that's enough to carry them. Yeah. And it's not. It's, it's not real not. life. It's not real life. Like it, real life is interaction. Is is being kind to people. It's how you make them feel. Exactly. You know? Exactly. And if you make them feel ugly, then you're ugly. Yeah. But man, it's so good seeing you, bro. Watch out! You're gonna create a fire. <laughs> <laughs> so come out, boy. About to start a fire real quick. <laughs> it's so good seeing you, bro. Yes, man. And, and you know, guys, it, um, the cool thing about Josh is, I can not see you like unfortunately it like how like, we yeah. like how we've been yeah. doing it yeah but like once i see you it's like i just saw you yesterday on and popping baby. on and popping we don't like, skip a beat at all we don't skip a beat and like we do talk on social media yeah, all yeah. the time yeah but guys follow if you don't you already follow josh but if you don't follow josh 
I'm gonna put his Instagram. Give I me mean, that plug, bro. Dude, you even when I first met you in cutting hair, oh my god, we just keep complimenting <laughs> ourselves. We keep complimenting this is ourselves. What the whole podcast I don't about. know, man. Jesus. Even I had another guest uh, the other day on my first episode. Yeah. And we just compliment each other, bro. bro. But it's I, because it's cool. It's, it's like I, everybody that I know, I fuck with so much. That's what I'm saying. And that's the whole point in life is like you just have to be around people in your circle that, that you just fuck with. Love, love, man. Like that's it. Yep, yep, yep. I was talking to my boy the other day and he was like, what are you doing tonight? Blah, blah. I was like, oh, I'm just going to go to Catch or Soho House. And, you know, I'll hear that, you know, those are bougie spots. Yeah, right. little booze, booze. And then he's like, damn, dog, like those are bougie, dog. But like I never even thought about it like that. But I don't think like that anymore because okay. I am who I hang out with. Oh. If the people that are going to Soho House okay. and that's just a norm. That's what the ball catch is. catch is just a norm. Wow. Be at that standard and stay there. Wow. What did you respond? What did you say? I, I, told, I told him, I was like, dude, honestly, like, I'm not even trying to like, be bougie. Like or, like, I'm just letting you know where I'm going. It's, it's not even a flex. You asked me where I was going? I was asking where I was going. But to me, it's normal because for years, I always kick it with people that that's how they live. That's how they live. And yeah. and if you want to live like that, hang out with people that live like that. Oh, that's good. That's it. That's good. Set the bar higher. Set the bar always. Yeah. Catch, yeah. catch that yeah. rhythm. Yep. Yep. I love that, bro. No, and set, it's, it's set, real set, life yeah, shit. Set, set your standards higher. That's what it is. People just, they just kind of, they're cool with coasting. I, I fall yeah. into that sometimes because, too. Though. Exactly. You because know? we might be raised a certain way yeah. as as kids. Yeah. You know, maybe we didn't grow up with, with much. Going to catch. It, I didn't grow up going to catch. Hell There's no, no Happy Meals I catch. Hell no. Ain't no I, dollar menu at catch. I, I, I grew up only dollar menu. Yeah. No combos. Yeah. No combos. Not even a combo. Not bro. even a large drink. Yeah. And we all got to share. And we got to share the toy. Yeah. Anyways, before I start crying, we are, are, are presented with these things as kids. If, 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 if you're like me and you didn't grow up with too much, right? Just, you know, I feel like. The majority of the people actually grow up like that, right? Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. So I, I we, would say we so. tend to get, we, we teach ourselves that this is the norm, mm -hmm. which it is. Mm -hmm. But if you teach yourself as you grow up that there's a different type of norm that you have to kind of, that, that, that you want. Yeah. You have to make that the norm. You got to make that happen. Exactly. Yeah. Hang around with people. Stop hanging around with people that drag you down. Wow. Stop hanging out with people that are not doing too much. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Small minded people. Exactly. Like you I said, explain. I'm not here to do like a whole lecture. That can be another podcast because we can go on for days about yeah. that. But it is what it is. No, I love that, bro. I love that. We got to raise our standards as people. It, it's, it's easy just to get comfortable and just settle with what we what we know. But there is so much more to life. Oh, my God. You know, bro. and you don't you don't got to feel bad about wanting to explore and, and, and want more for yourself. You know, do not feel bad. Do not. And me and Karen are like that because me and Karen are super humble. Like I yeah, said, we no, came from a regular percent. lifestyle, yeah. like nothing. And I still have a regular lifestyle. Yeah. Well, sh sh well uh, yeah, but <laughs> I set that up for myself. Yeah. yeah we yeah. set that up for yeah, myself yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I created a norm. Yeah. Right. A new standard. A new standard. Yeah. And I still want more because I'm not happy because I want a new standard after that. Because once you have this norm and you kind of like are bored with it. Yeah. You kind of already like figured out the rhythm. You want a new rhythm. Yeah. And then you set yourself up for yeah. something else, right? Well, I believe like life is about progressing, right? Like you oh, got to constantly be growing and progressing. If you don't, then yeah. you, uh, what? Uh, what's the point? That's how people get depressed and all these, I don't know. I, I truly believe that. It's constantly oh. evolving, constantly growing, pushing yourself. A hundred percent, bro. Yeah. But back to what we were talking right. about. So glad that you're here. We here, baby. One thing about you too is, you know, we were complimenting Alex Wasabi about his consistency and stuff yeah. like that. But when yeah. I first met you, bro. When I first met you is when me and Karen really started to do YouTube stuff. She started to really do YouTube stuff. I remember stuff. this. I remember this. You know, this is like when we were in downtown LA. Yeah. Um, we, 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 we finally were getting out there, right? Yeah. And But but the thing that amazed me, and I was even talking to Karen about it, like I remember back in the day, Josh Leva has been doing this. How long have you been in YouTube, bro? Dang, bro. Or just social media because... Yeah. Bro, you've been I've I've seen videos where you look like a kid. Yeah, no, I look like a little like a little kid, yeah. It's amazing how it's amazing how you just thought to yourself as a kid maybe still in high school. I don't know if you were maybe in still in high school or just out of high school. I, I just I I'm going to start filming videos. Yeah. That's yeah. so dope, bro. Yeah. And that's when YouTube wasn't even cool. Oh, at all. I wasn't making any money when I started. No, but you money. just did it because you liked it. I loved it. You know, and that really, it amazed me, bro. When I, when we first started, because 
we first started because it started to become cool. Yeah. And like, it's kind of like, oh, we need to be on this because we need to show who we are. And um, you guys did start, though. Like, I mean, you guys have been doing it for a minute, too, on the YouTube thing. At least, what, four years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, like three, four years, I yeah, think so. Yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is like, when we first started, you've been in it with all your friends. And that to me was like, dude, this is so sick. And the thing about you is like, you do skits and you do comedy, like your imagination yeah. is what drives you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's fucking magical. It really is. It is dope, man. It's uh it's tough though, you know, to 100%. Like, to be creative in that aspect. And then like with uh, you know, things just constantly changing and stuff. But it's it's amazing. I have so much fun doing it, bro. Just kind of challenging myself to see what I can come up with next. Yeah. So, and I, dude, look at where it's got like got you. You you were a big inspiration to me because like I said, when I first met you. I met you, you were pushing a nice car. Yeah. You were living at the watermark in yeah. downtown LA. It was just so inspiring to see somebody do something that they love and seeing them where they're at. That's so sick, bro. Oh, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Yeah. And you're still doing it. I'm trying, man. I, it's definitely it's definitely different. I'm, I'm trying to uh, like evolve. I'm looking for that next step, that new standard. But um, I'm out here, bro. I'm trying to make it happen. Yeah, bro. I yeah. You're like on movies, yeah. shows. Yeah. No wonder they don't believe me that I know you. <laughs> They're like, okay, the one who's in movies and shows? Yeah. No. Bro, and yeah. you're and literally... Next, next you're going to say, you know, Alex Wasabi. Get out of here, Get bro. Get out of here, bro. <laughs> Get out of here. But yeah, man, it's so, so dope. But I'm humbled, bro. And and yeah, same with you guys. But you guys, I mean, even when I first met you guys, like where you guys were, I mean, you guys weren't obviously in a bad spot by no means, you know? But just to see the progression in you and Karen's like yeah, life you. and stuff like that has been insane. And just yeah. your work ethic, bro. Like... All this stuff, this you guys, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this guy's got a full on setup. There's three cameras going on, there's monitors, there's this whole system. I even walked in, I was like, How did you learn all this stuff? And he's like, Well, this is what I wanted to do, so I had to figure it out. Yeah. If I wanted to make it happen, I had to do it myself. Yeah. And that's one thing I've admired about you, bro. Like, even like with editing and and like videography and when it comes to cameras and stuff like that, you just took the initiative to find out. Yeah. And and do it for yourself. Yeah. And a lot of people don't. They just kind of want handouts. Mm -hmm. And you don't you don't accept no handouts. No, nah, no, nah, you gotta do you gotta it on your after own. It. You know why? Because if something fucks up, you're accountable for it. And I want to be accountable for yeah. it. Put, put, put me responsible. Exactly. Put me responsible. Because mm -hmm. if I'm somebody else is figuring it out for me, I'm already fucked right then and there. Yep. Yep. But enough of all that. That was a super great intro. Did I did I tell you what the show's called already? Oh, no. You, have, you haven't even told them. Did, did I not? Oh, you told me. You told me. You told me. I told you. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, I, I think we like totally went on different topics. We, we went which, on Which was amazing. Yeah, yeah. But... um. I came up with the name. It was, name, it was, it was, it was, it's simple. I said on Instagram already, if you guys follow me, like I said, I'll put it down below. If you do not follow me on Instagram already, it's simple. I love it. It's in Spanish. I love which that. I'm Mexican. Yeah. Bio Mexico. Al cien. Al cien. And you're Mex I oh, am fuck, Mexican. We keep on going different topics. <laughs> Let me just talk. Um, the name is La Platica. <laughs> I love it, bro. I love it too, it's man. It's perfect. You, you have no idea. I think Karen like looked at me and she was like, what's wrong with you? And I'm just like, I can't stop thinking like. About the name? About the name. Like, <laughs> You're like, like it's perfect. Like, I, not only that, even before that, I didn't know what it was called. Okay. I wanted to call it Cafe Con Sebas. Oh, that's kind of cool. Which is a cool name. Yeah. And Karen came up with that one. Yeah. Yeah. So shout out to Karen. Because um, you love coffee. I love coffee. I and your name I, is Sebas. And my name is Sebas. So, so it it's works. Like, it works. Yeah. It's perfect. But I just, I don't know. Too easy. Yeah. Because one day in my imagination, I want to go to an award ceremony. And, 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 and in my head, this was my imagination. Speak it out, baby. I want to go to an award ceremony. Uh, red carpet. Red carpet. Looking all dapper like I always do. Oh. Always. Dripped in the sea. You're going to be there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they're going to announce the award for best podcast of the uh, year. And what are they going to say? And I was thinking about what's that name that they're going to call out. Yeah. And it has to be powerful. Oh, it's got to be. Mm. Whoever is going to open that envelope. Just, they're going to be hot. And say, and the winner for bed pos podcast. <laughs> podcast. Podcast. <laughs> for best. <clears throat> for best podcast. 2020 or 21. I'm not really tripping. <laughs> I Sebas with La Platica. And Doesn't that sound good? It sounds it sounds so official. All it needs is a whistle. Dude, I'm serious. Bro. So that was my whole thing is that I need that person that opens the envelope 
to say a great name. Yeah. That this holds weight. La Platica. Hosted by Sebastian Robles. This is, this is too much, dude. Gutierrez. Just if 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 nobody knows my mom's maiden name. <laughs> oh, or my mom's my maiden name is yeah. Gutierrez. <laughs> Your maiden name. <laughs> God, I'm so Mexican. <laughs> La Platica, bro. I'm about La Platica. It. La Platica. That's the sound right there. That's the sound. That's the sound. Hey, 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 hey. It's amazing, bro. Dude. So I came up with a name. It's perfect, guys. The name is for you guys. Yep. It's not for me. It's for you guys. It's for them. It's for us. Yep. It's for this podcast. Yep. Because we taking over. Oh, we taking over. I'm, 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 I'm honored that I'm the second guest, and I'm honored that I was here for the announcement. Of the title, mm. of the name, of the Damn, really what's to come award winning podcast. Thank you, man. It's dope, man. It's a special moment in my heart because I've known you for a while. So yeah. the fact that you're here and you're witnessing it. Some might say this is a monumental. Oh. That's a SoCal bad boy word right there. Wow. Yeah. SoCal. <laughs> the SoCal bad boy starring Josh Leva. <laughs> That's too much, bro. That's um, too much. Anyways, so I always have kind of like a topic on my podcast. Which you have not disclosed with me yet. No, we're already at 26 minutes and 20 seconds. That's nothing for us, bro. We it's nothing. I days. feel like we've been talking for a while. Mm. God, I love doing this whole podcasting. <laughs> um, You know, you're Josh Leva. Everybody knows you as the SoCal bad boy yeah. now. <laughs> um, You work out. Mm-hmm. What do you have? Twelve pack now or eight pack? Uh, I'm still I'm still floating at a you know it's a like solid six. Even your belly button has a two pack. <laughs> you know what, bro? I really don't even have a six pack. You got guns. You got the face, the teeth, the hair, the okay. thighs. All right, thighs on line. Perfect shoe size. Yeah, that's true. Shots fired. Big facts. Big facts. Um. Wow, that was, that was, that was really wrong. <laughs> I need to take that one out. <laughs> we gotta. We need to do something hey, about hey, that. One. Hey, hey. Sorry about that. So, cut, 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 cut. Sorry about that. Um, there's one topic that I want to discuss that I feel like you might be really good at. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know what's the perfect manscaping. Ooh. Definition for okay. Josh Leva. Ooh, I like this topic. Bro, manscaping. Yeah, no, well, no, I'm into this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm into manscaping. This. Yeah. Ooh, that's Two, good. 2000, no, it's still 19, but coming into 2020. Yeah. How should people manscape, bro? What do you think is the best? I don't know. You're not going to believe me, oh, okay? Fuck. But I just upgraded my arsenal of uh, manscaping uh, literally a week ago. I'm not joking. This is for real. Really? I t I'm taking it to another level. Man. It, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm getting older. Are you a hairy guy? No. Uh no 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 I would I would say no I mean I, I nothing about nothing crazy uh, I mean I got hair do you shave your legs do you like trim your legs I used to like back in high school but yeah, I same. don't I, I don't just, either I just I don't if either. anything when they start because because my hair is really curly yeah so they might get a little curly yeah, like yeah. when they're really long yeah yeah I, mean, I don't want to look like that guy yeah 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 so like I'll trim them I do that I do that but too. I won't like completely bick them yeah like you know with the razor yeah yeah, yeah. no that's that's a that's aggressive aggressive exactly <laughs> that's too much <laughs> uh manscaping though um i take it very serious uh to me it's a work of art uh something i take my time with i try to do it uh every every two weeks most you know uh i'm personally i'm gonna speak personally this is this is my personal opinion and how i like to how i like to attack this this process i don't go i don't shave i use clippers okay yeah. i have mirrors set up wow to hit different angles so I, I do a whole setup, bro. Like when I'm going into this, I'm mentally prepared. I have everything aligned. I'm Are not joking, bro. Mentally like, prepared because you're scared or you just like. Because this is an art. This is an art. You put your phone on silent. Absolutely. Everything. Nobody talks to me. I put on a, 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 the, I got a playlist. Everything. I got the mirrors. I got the clippers fully charged. You wow. know, and I'm attacking. I'm doing lines. The like, fact that you said fully charged, you need them to like their full cap capability <laughs> to run down some shit or I'm what? I'm going in. <laughs> I'm going in. Sometimes I throw in some artwork. Okay. You know? Wow. I've got inspired by you. I do a little fade. Oh, my God. You know what I mean? Keep it light. Keep it sexy. So what's one thing that a guy has to do, bro? Especially maybe like in a relationship. Yeah. Like manscaping wise. It's very important. I think in a relationship, especially. Yeah. But like that, what's that one thing that they have to do? 
I'd say uh, uh, maintenance. People forget maintenance. You know, yeah. they'll do it once a month and stuff like that. No, you got to kind of keep up with it. Right? You know? Yeah, I, I'd say so. I feel like, and trust me, I've been with my girl for a while. Sometimes I forget. Yeah, that's okay. And, you know, sometimes when we get down to the needy greedy. Okay. You know, I, I forgot. I was like, oh, fuck. Like, I, you know, I, oh, shit. Like, you know, I'm a little beastie oh, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? So I get embarrassed. I, yes, I get that. I totally get that. And not only that, I, I feel like maybe she thinks that I'm letting go of myself. Ooh. You know? And I don't want her to think that. No. no. Because if she thinks that, I think that, you know, maybe I she thinks that I don't care anymore. And I don't want her to think that because I you do care, care a lot. A lot. Yeah. Um, and also, I don't want her to think that I just don't care about my own personal self. Like, Ooh. because when you first get with the girl, man, you like. You, you go above and beyond. You go above and beyond to be the best you want to be. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the best. Yeah. Like you're going out. You're literally shopping for yourself for no fucking reason. Yeah. Just for a one little hangout. Just for one night, whatever. You need yeah. to look tip top shape. Yep. And us guys, we forget that that's really important. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're in a relationship for a year, two, three, that starts to fade away a little bit. You get comfortable. It, you, get you get comfortable. Every relationship does. Yeah. But guys, it's your job mm -hmm. to keep it sexy, keep it keep fresh. Keep it sexy. Absolutely. Your girl still is, you know, she, she's it, waiting it on matters. you. That's it matters. matters. Yeah. It matters 100%. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so with the girl. Yeah. You know? Oh, absolutely. But we'll just talk about guys. Yeah, this, this, this is, is our area. This, this is, is our area. area. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about girls. <laughs> but yeah, bro, I mean, this is the thing. Yeah, this, you, is, this is a good topic that I feel like a lot of guys don't really dive into. It's no, just kind of like, they're scared. like, yeah, they're scared. And I'm not scared. I'm not scared either. Because this is important. I'm telling you, bro, like, I, I, this, this, I take this serious. Yeah, I take my personal appearance serious. Yes. All right. Couple questions. Hit me, baby. Harry Chest? Or shave down like clean, clean, clean for you. I don't really grow a lot of hair on my chest. So I'll got, be real got with you. you. Yeah, it's really weird. Like from here, no, no real hair. It's it's different because some guys grow hair on their chest. Yeah, nice and straight. Yeah, like it's organized, like Captain America. Yeah, looking good. It looks good. Yeah. I envy Captain America's yeah. chest. No, he's a good chest. What's his name? Chris. Uh, Pat, uh, Chris Evans. Chris Evans. Mm -hmm. Chris Evans. Great chest hair, bro. Chest hair on point. point. Chris Evans. CE. <laughs> CE. The homie CE. <laughs> um, I don't. Like I said, I have curly hair. So you're you are hairy. So mine's like I'm I'm probably hairier than you, yeah. Yeah, okay. But when it grows, it grows curly. It's like it's but not, it's the kind of sexy? Nah. Okay. So you gotta kinda trim it down. Yeah. That's okay. So for me, definitely chest hair has to be clean. Yeah. I I, I forget that like chest hair. Because then the, the hair goes to the nipples yeah. and then that looks kinda like Neanderthal -ish. I agree. I agree. You don't yeah. want to look like a Neanderthal. No, I, I trim my nipple, my nipple hairs. Yeah, you I trim have those. To, bro. Yeah, yeah. Keep them, keep them tight. Keep them perky. Bro, imagine like, you know, getting down to nitty gritty. Yeah. And then the girl is like, dang, like this fool has some hairy nipples. Mm. That's and then she's gonna tell her friends. Yeah, like the, and then you're the dude with the hairy, hairy nipples, nipples bro. Oh, you God. never want that title. No, that's the one title do you not, don't want. Do not be the guy with the hairy nipples. Unless it's all even. If it's like an even distribution of hair, and it kind of just fades into the nipples, and you work in that, you know yeah. what I mean. But if you got hair right here, and then hair on your nipples, and it's just like get it like, together, baby. like Chris Evans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> what about your stomach? None, bro. Clean. Yeah, clean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Clean. But that's just that's just more of genetics. Like that, I don't really have yeah. to like worry about that. But like, if a guy is hairy, he should have a clean stomach. <sighs> I think that's all preference. Yeah. I'll be real with you, because like, would you consider that? Yeah, I guess that's all part of manscaping, right? I didn't think about that, because I like, I just personally don't grow. I mean, manscaping is like everything. Bro. Yeah, no, that's true. Even hygiene, like everything. Damn. I, okay, I was just focused on one area. <laughs> Yeah, but clearly, yeah. <laughs> and we know that you get down. I get down, bro. Okay, now, now this whole changes my perspective on things. So, like I said, from from the waist up, this area not really hairy. Um, happy trail. I kind of trim that a little bit, keep okay. it organized. Yeah, still keep a little line going. 100%. You know, uh, I don't really shave my legs or trim my legs. I, I probably could. Um, sometimes I get a little back hair Got right it. on the bottom. I'll kind of hit that a little yeah. bit. Do you think girls actually? Care, like yeah. hair oh see that's what i'm saying that's preference that's preference because some guys know how to work it like some yeah. guys are just hairy and it's, girls are just but it looks, and it looks masculine it. looks man yeah, yeah 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 i think it takes a, it's a specific person 
you know it's a it's that uh i think like bigger dudes like broad dudes like uh, just yeah. heftier they can pull off like yeah. the hair and stuff like that you know what i don't like and every time i see it i mean it's not that i don't like it because i'm into guys it's not like that okay. i'm just saying like if a guy has hair on his shoulders you like that <laughs> Is that what you said? I said I don't like. Oh, okay, that's not what I heard. <laughs> you said you were coming out earlier, so I'm not sure. What when a guy has hair on his shoulders, I'm yeah. just like, dude, you should take care of that. But that sucks, bro, because that's not even like they should take care of but it. Take but take care of it. Yeah, that sucks to have. Like that's a, such an unfortunate place to grow hair. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, it's, but you, you got to take care of it. Yeah, you, you want to be the guy that has hair on his shoulders or on his nipples? Uh, probably my nipples. Probably my nipples. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, that's easier. Yeah. It's, I feel like that's a little. Yeah, I, I go to nipples. What about you? Probably nipples. Yeah. I don't want hair on my nah, shoulders. Nah. But yo, you know what's crazy? Like as a man, uh, it's not really common for for people to like make that an importance, like the manscaping and stuff like that. But it is. It's really important. It is. And, and and it's not about like there's no specific way. There's not one way fits all. Like I can't tell you how it should be for every man. But figure out what works for you and just stay clean and stay consistent. Yeah. And that, as consistent that, as you can. It's exactly what you said. Just stay clean. Stay clean. Yeah. Yeah. Um, even, even like, would you consider like beard stuff? Is that considered manscaping? Not necessarily. Right. Uh, I think that's more part of like your hair. It tends to fall into more of the category of who's cutting your hair. That's true. I think that's their job because a man could be like, sure, oh. sure. You can be at home and you can have supplies or, yeah. or, or tools like a razor or things like that to maintain it. Yeah. But I think when you go to the barbershop or a hairdresser, I think it's their job to, hey, how do you want your beard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. Let me ask you something. When it comes to manscaping and trimming your beard, you obviously have an incredible beard, incredible hair. Uh you Thank you. you you maintain your beard, right? Like you 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 keep up with it for the most part. Like you yeah. trim it. For the most part I get haircuts like every week. So okay. by the time that week hits, yeah. I need the beard trimmed. Okay. Or something like that. Yeah. Um, I've never been a fan of like really lining it up. I've noticed that about yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've never or been even a, here. Yeah, right here. I sometimes do. Okay. I just I, I keep it clean. I keep it clean. I keep it short. Sometimes it's a little longer. Um, it's never dirty. Okay. But I like when it's just natural. Are you a beard oil guy? Do you add? No, I don't think it does it too much right now. Okay. I, I think when you have a really long beard, yeah, like it gives really, it a nice little. Shine. It gives it a shine. Yeah, I feel like, like you can pull it off though. You, oh, I I pulled it off before. Yeah. Uh, one time, uh, it was like six years ago, maybe okay. five years ago. I decided to grow my beard out. Dang! So from November to like late March, didn't cut it, didn't cut it, didn't touch it. It was like to right here. Wow! Yeah, crazy. What bro. a man! I can't do that. Yeah, but like I said, I'm a curly guy. Yeah. So did, it came did out Karen curly. Like that, by the way, I don't think she liked it too much. Yeah. That, that, that I think if it was like really maintained and like yeah, perfect, groomed. like yeah, which only lasted like a day, mm -hmm. I think maybe it looked decent. Yeah. But like now I look at pictures and I'm just like, eh, I don't think it was for me. Yeah, but I could. And I, dude, maybe try it again. Beards, beards change people's appearance a thousand percent, bro. There's like dudes that might be kind of looking a little nerdy. Yeah, grow a beard, grow a beard. It's like new person. Four. Yeah crazy yeah it sucks that beards are like they oh well, that doesn't suck i guess but beards is very with different people because it's all genetics and stuff like yeah. i can't grow a beard like that that's a that's a very um impressive yeah. beard thank you but here's a here was my question dude i want to go back to before i forget you got an incredible beard did i mention that no okay well you got you got a good thank beard, you man thank you you're gonna put a sound effect <laughs> you got I'm, a good beard. Uh, I'm scared i'm gonna do the gunshots again i don't want to do that <laughs> too long <laughs> Uh, you obviously have a set of clippers for that. Yeah. Do you have a different set of clippers for your manscaping? Are you a two tipper, two clipper guy, or are you just one clipper fits all? No, you know. Be real not, with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be real with you. When I was doing hair, yeah, I had two sets for everything. Like okay. for down here, yeah, there there was a little guy for that one. Okay, right? But not so little. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then. You know, I had my clippers to cut hair. But yeah. now that I don't cut hair, it's kind of like, oh, it's whatever I have now. Yeah. But I don't put whatever I use down there on my face. What do you mean? Like, whatever I use down here. Okay. I don't use it for my beard. Gotcha. Like, the guard or whatever it is. Yeah. I yeah, don't yeah, want yeah. my beard to smell like testicles. No, yeah. You don't want that. Yeah. That's a big no-no. Yeah. Do you think girls like... Well, I, I'm not even going to say that anymore because okay. it's a preference. It's Everything a preference. is a preference. It's a preference. But for you, okay. as being the Josh Leva... SoCal bad boy. What's SoCal up? SoCal bad boy. Fuck with me. The modern... The modern Hercules. <laughs> do, do, do you feel like a guy should be 
completely like hairless down there or with some sort of i don't know five o'clock shadow now once again or this, what or like what like you look, tell what, me. what it is um this is gonna be personal yeah, yeah okay? personal i want to know what everybody in this room yeah everybody hearing Damn. this y'all listening wants to know yeah what josh leva <laughs> what's going on down does there down there <laughs> I'll be real, man. I don't think I've fully shaven completely since I've been in high school. Wow. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't do that. I've maintained. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I keep it. I keep it a low five o'clock shadow. Yeah, yeah. You know what low. I mean? Low, like it, maybe like the lowest your trimmers go. Yeah, yeah. I like to keep it. Low. Even that's really low. That's it, that, yeah. I don't go that low. I'll keep it like a guard or something like that. Like okay. a one or a like two. Like a one. Yeah, yeah. And I think I'm the same way. Yeah. I think. As a guy, I think if you're like completely like, it kind of looks like a little boy. Yeah, it's yeah. weird, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. But you, you know don't what? want it to look like ET's finger. But if people <laughs> just sticking out, <laughs> oh, that's a perfect description. Some girls like that though. So yes, yeah, so some, some girls like that. Yeah, some girls like that. I don't know. Here's the thing. Here's the one thing I feel like guys don't do. They don't ask. They don't ask the girl what yeah, they like. They're scared. Man. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if I was in a relationship, I'm currently not. But if I was. Damn. Want, the Josh Leva is single? Oh, hella, bro. How? Hella. It's complicated, bro. Bro, why don't you have your own show? Like, you are the bachelor. Well. Bro, <laughs> the SoCal bad boy looking for love. Oh, desperately. Desperately. <laughs> Anyways, continue. No. Um guys don't ask if i was in a relationship i know what i like i know how i like to maintain my you know my manscaping mm -hmm. but uh, i think it's important to ask like what what did your girl like what does she prefer yeah you know and then try to find like because a middle I, ground i tell my girl what i prefer yeah i'm not gonna say it because you know that's what i'm saying my girl's not here for me to give permission the, of, deets. the deets yeah i agree but i tell my girl like hey i like it like this Boom. or i like it like that me too you know? and that, that was that's a, important that's a, a thousand percent so I think having that communicating is like yeah. that communicate is important. Plus, and I'm sure all the guys agree that are listening to this right now. I feel like not everybody has it like completely big down there. Oh, like shave? Yeah, like nah. it hurts. It hurts, bro. It hurts, and then you and, get and, ingrowns. And then you right? get ingrowns because I've done it before. You get ingrowns, and then it's itchy. And I don't think it's attractive. Nah. I mean, like, uh, speaking for myself, like my own, you know. Dude, I, I want Chris Evans' chest <laughs> on, <your> on my <laughs> wiener. <laughs> Above my wiener. <laughs> wow, man, we got to be careful with that one. Yeah, it's pretty funny, though. <laughs> I want Chris Evans' chest on my wiener. <laughs> Above my wiener. Same thing. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Because I think it gives a character, you know? Yeah. Gives a character. Yeah, and like you look manly. You look manly. Yeah, because we are fucking manly. We're fucking men, dude. Dude, we're men, dude. <laughs> we're men, dude. I don't know if you know this, dude. Fucking men, dude. We're men, dude. And we've been men, dude. <laughs> For the longest, dude. For the longest, dude. <laughs> we're men, dude. So, definitely. Wow. Yeah. The fact that Josh Leva talked about manscaping on my, my podcast. Yeah. La Platica. is amazing, bro. Bro, I'm really glad that this was the topic. Because... Even like with my homies and stuff like that, we don't really go into it. Bro, last night when, you know, I was, you know, driving yep. down the 405, listening okay. to that new weekend, I was just like, just thinking, bro. Ever since about? I have this podcast, I'm just like, you know, I can't just free, uh, I'm, I'm a freestyler. Yeah, you are. You're good at it too. I like to wing it. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I, and I do that because just like you said, I feel like I'm good at it. You're I'm good. good at winging shit. You're good. But there is times where I'm just like, I have to have a couple things. Yeah. Right? Let's touch on something. Exactly. Yeah. So I was thinking and I was thinking and I was thinking. And I'm like, well, I want to talk about something that I feel Josh Leva is good at. Mm-hmm. I'm like, this, so. this motherfucker <laughs> is probably hella good at manscaping. Oh. And clearly you have like mirrors looking at your balls. Yeah. One's looking at your wiener. Yeah. <laughs> you probably have a picture of Chris Evans <laughs> for reference. Ismo. For reference. I'm looking at his chest. I'm trying to get the angles right. I'm like, I want that on my chest. Exactly. I'm like... So on my pee pee, on, my, on your pee pee. So, <laughs> yeah, no, and, it's a good topic. And you know what? Like, uh, I don't know. I'm assuming you have a good amount of like men who watch your channel. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I'm assuming a lot of them are probably like younger and stuff. Yeah, I think it's important to like kind of have this conversation because 100%. I feel like maybe men like it's easy for guys just to be like, man, girls don't care about that. Yeah, it doesn't matter. No, it matters. We're literally talking about the birds and the bees right now. It matters. It's like I'm talking to like anybody who's younger than me. You are my son right now. Yeah. 
I'm telling you guys right now, take care of yourselves. Smell good. Yeah. Be good down there. Be good down there. And if you don't know who Chris Evans is, Google his ass. Google his ass. Yeah, absolutely. Chris Evans, chest hair. (laughs) And then that should be your pee-pee inspiration. Exactly. Above your pee-pee. Exactly. What's that area called? Pelvis? I, I think that's your like pee-pee's chest. Pee-pee, yeah, for sure. Yeah, right? Yeah. Like, so your pee-pee's right here. Yeah. And then it's, yes. No. I think it's your pelvis. No, I think it's your pee-pee's forehead. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> the pee-pee's a human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Oh, 100%. It's your, it's your buddy. Yeah, I treat like one. Yeah, yeah. Um, enough, enough about all that. Great topic. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. I really do. Yeah. I really do. There's one thing that I want to ask you before we end the podcast. Oh, ready, man? I don't want to yeah, yeah. Be- before we end the podcast. All right. And everybody's, I, I think everybody wants to know. All right. When are you bringing Galo back? <laughs> please, bro. Oh, yeah. Hold on real quick before you say anything. No, please, please, please. Galo is a character. If you don't follow Josh Leva, the SoCal bad boy. Boop, boop. Mr. Boop, boop. He plays a character called Galo. Yeah. Hilarious character. It's a fun character. But you guys already know that probably. Yeah. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen, bro. Like Is it still funny though? Bro, are you kidding me? It's not it's probably not funny as funny to you because you are it. Galo yeah. and you you're the one that does it. Yeah. But to an audience or even to me as a friend, it's okay. fucking hysterical. And you're so fucking good at it. I will say this. And the fact that you were like 3XL Tati Pro Club oh. and like a pink bandana and you have like like the eyeliner tattoos. tattoos. Like it's just fucking hysterical. I'll put a picture right here. It's literally Josh Leva. And dude, you need to bring him back. Please. Yeah. yeah. Please. Know. You bro. know, I'll be real with you, bro. I get asked this question all the time. It's crazy because I haven't done that character in like, I don't know, two years. Why do you think you get asked that question, Josh? It's because people love Galo. Sebas, I'll tell you this, bro. I started getting labeled as Galo, and that was kind of... Is that not what you wanted? Not really. Like, I wanted to be, have my own yeah. like, brand, you know? Um, and I, like, the YouTube thing was, it was a, uh, what people, I guess, I, I guess it, I, and I don't expect people just to get this, but it was like a stepping stone for me. Like, I wanted, I want to be an actor. I want to be a host. I want to, like, go mainstream. And I feel like that was pigeon pigeonholing pigeonholing uh, it does that? make sense yeah, yeah yeah and people were just saying that character was just taking over huh it did man it did that's cool though but yeah. i definitely do understand yeah but I have, I have so much fun with that character like it that character is like this inner me that just like i can i'm so free when i do that character because there's no boundaries yeah. you know like like right now when we talk like we yeah. have to be careful what we say because mm-hmm. we have to just you know yeah we're just conscious yeah. about that. with galo i can say whatever the fuck i want yeah and it's permitted because yeah. that's who he is he's just this free-spirited man human it's it's literally the best it's, the, it's i had so much fun man and you know what i might i might i i did like a little uh uh mini series mm-hmm. where i produced this whole little like mini feature like a like a little short film and that was fun i so i don't want to do something like that again you should i i want to produce like a little mini movie even if you don't want to do anything like too 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 much like that yeah throw something up on igtv even insta stories all right Dude, all we want is like 30 seconds of Galo. That's it. That's it? We need our fix of the day. All right. I'm a big fan. Okay. And I think once he was like talking to me about like kind of like um, doing like Galo costumes for people for like. Oh, yeah. Remember you're telling yeah. me like you'll put a white shirt in. Yeah. You'll have the eyeliner. Pink a pink bandana. A gold chain. A gold chain. Yeah. Like all that. It's hard. Dude, I think people would love that. Dude, and you have so much support. Yeah. You have so many fans, bro. Mm. You have so many fans. And I think they're all thinking the same thing that I where is am. Where Galo? is Galo? But yeah. I totally understand yeah. what you're saying. I just want to be, I just want to be, uh, I understand. I just want to be Josh. <laughs> I, I, I'll say this humbly. I understand the power of that character. Okay. And yeah. the potential that, that character 100%. has. 100%. That I want to go about it uh, smart. Yeah. You know? Because I don't want to get like labeled that for the rest of my life. But maybe I should just own it and be like, this is, this is what it is. You know? <laughs> try, try to do your thing. Yeah, try, try to do your thing. Yeah, you know, I'm sure that's gonna work. Yeah, but if it doesn't, you <laughs> I got can Galo. always revert to Galo. You, you got Galo. Am I? Is there, is there a two? Is there a point where I become too old for it? No, because then you're just old Galo, <laughs> <laughs> and that's kind of funny too. Probably funnier. <laughs> Probably funnier. Yeah. Oh my God. Anyways, that is it for today's podcast. La plática. La plática. You like that? 
I love it, dude. Good man. I got. I love it, guys. I got you guys. Merch. I want merch. That'll be dope. You know, I'm, I have a lot of plans for this podcast. Good, and I want to come back. A hundred percent, dog. You see me crossing my legs? I mean, business, dog. The business. People love you. It's a privilege to have you on my podcast. Oh, but that is enough time that we have today because my memory cards are running out. <laughs> <That'll> <laughs> I'm totally it. joking with you, <laughs> but that is enough topic for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to La Platica. Where's my button hey. at? Right there. Hey. Let's hey. hear it one more time. Hey. I don't like that one. You know what? It's, it's, it's growing on me. It's growing on. Yeah. <laughs> Shots fired. Guys, thank you so much tuning in to La Platica, hosted by me, I Sebas. If you don't follow Ciao. Josh Leva, aka Galo, aka the SoCal Bad Boy, aka Mr. Um, please follow him. I will put him here in the description Thank as you, well. Man. Thank you so much, Josh. Hey, man, it was an absolute pleasure. Like, I love seriously. you. You my boy. I already knew that this was going to be so good. because I'm a fan of this podcast. This and, is my favorite podcast on the planet. And just so you guys know, he came like at 9 a.m. Like Hella early. Like we're like on this shit. Bro, and that's saying a lot because I don't wake up at 9 a.m. I know, bro. But for you, I was yeah, like, I'm it, not, I'm not gonna be able to tell him. Can we do one? He's gonna be like, bro, bro I got, sh- I got shit to do. <laughs> I don't wake up at nine either, especially on a Saturday. Yeah, what time? Why did you? Why? Cause yeah. I'm really about this shit right now. All right, don't get all aggressive on me, bro. Last night, my boy was like, "Come on, let's go drink." I'm like, "Dude, I'm not gonna have too many drinks, cause I got a podcast to record for my family." Hey, you know what? Same. I went out. Really? And I kept it to a three men. You know, I was gonna hit you. Look, I know that. We were going to say it's bye, but I was going to hit you up last night. Yeah, same. And I was like, you better not be fucking going out. Oh, I thought you were going to say, can we, you want to do 10? Yeah. <laughs> no, I was going to tell you like, hey, you better get your ass at 9 yeah. a.m. But yeah. you did. I did. I, cause I was a little late. I will admit that. A little late, but, but you know what? Expected. I, I was going to, I was going to hit you up and push for 10. And I was like, bro, be a man of your word. You said yeah. you were going to do this. Set the bar higher, higher standards, man. Exactly. Just what we were talking up. about. Guys, I'm going back to sleep. Once again, nos vemos en la próxima plática. Adiós. Peace.